What a year it's been for the NFC South. The Tampa Bay Buccaneers sitting at 7-8, and eight, flirting with 500 with two weeks remaining in a win-and-get-in postseason scenario. Operation perfect, and the Buccaneers with a Christmas gift to their fans. An overtime victory. Nipping at their heels, currently on the outside looking in, the Carolina Panthers with an uphill but not impossible climb into the postseason after winning three of their last four. As Darnold keeps flips to Blackshear, headed to the end zone, in for a Panthers touchdown. Key note, Carolina would own the tiebreaker with Tampa if they pull out a win this week. Why? Week 7, a 21-3 victory for Carolina, the Panthers beating the GOAT with a third-string quarterback without the services of Christian McCaffrey, who they had just traded, and under an interim head coach who had just taken over. Walker fires, point, touchdown, Tommy Trumbull. Seemed like a massive upset. Now it seems like a win between two evenly matched sub-500 teams. Sam Darnold isn't sub-500, though. He's 3-1 as a starter and coming off a solid win against the Lions. He completed almost 70% of his passes, threw a touchdown, no picks, averaging almost 11.5 yards a toss. DJ Moore! Wide open to the five! Well-thrown ball by Sam Darnold. That was against a weak Detroit secondary. He'll face a Bucks pass defense this week that allows both the fourth-fewest passing yards a game and the fourth-fewest yards per attempt. Here's Burrow going to the end zone to pass. Knocked down. Knocked down again by Carlton Davis. So the true key for Carolina could be along the ground. The Panthers' run game bounced back after a disastrous outing versus Pittsburgh in Week 16, with Carolina's backs tallying career highs against the Lions. Hubbard, straight ahead and through! Back-to-back, big-time runs from Chuba Hubbard. Deontay Foreman with 165 yards and a touchdown. Chuba Hubbard with 125 yards. They led the Panthers to a combined record 320 yards rushing, a tall task for any defense to account for. Chuba Hubbard, another big run, crossing midfield. Plus, Tampa Bay let Carolina rush for 173 yards in their first meeting this season. They give up 4.5 a carry to backs, so it's still an issue for them. Foreman found a hole. Cross midfield, still going. As for how the Bucks' offense looked in that Week 7 game, offensively, they simply couldn't get it going. That was Week 7, though. It was so long ago. Yeah, well, nothing has changed. Brady and his mates faced the worst defense in football last week. Brady got picked off twice, rating barely over 70, under 6 yards per attempt. Brady fires, intercepted. Second one from Marco Wilson. Zona defense is terrible on third down. Bucks only converted six of their 17 chances. The most important down in football continues to bring their offense to a halt. Fires end zone for Julio Jones. Incomplete. This is as open as you're going to see Julio Jones, and they just missed that throw. For what it's worth, the Cardinals' run defense wasn't stout either, yet the Bucks finished under four yards per carry. Their recent win formula has simply been to have their defense keep things close enough for Brady to have a shot at the end. He's at least come through a few times in that scenario. He was a perfect 6-for-6 six six in overtime last week. Brady's sideline shot! Carolina's pass defense. Not a lot of sacks, but Brian Burns has 12 and a half. Brady gets rid of the ball like a hot potato, though. Thus, his yards per attempt figure is really low. Panthers pass defense he's attacking this week. Respectable in 2022. Under 7 yards per attempt allowed. Low 90s rating allowed. Jeremy Chin is just one of them dudes, man. And he'll come up and hit you, but he can cover like a cornerback, too. But they won't have their best corner. J.C. Horn is done for the year. Major bummer. But hey, this team traded its best offensive player, cut its starting quarterback, fired their head coach, and here they are, still pounding. Can they pound out another win and shake things up even further? Or will the Bucks secure another ticket to the dance? Comment section is yours. Game Preview Guy here wishing all a happy 2023.